Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Quantum of Solace and this movie came out in 2008 and it is a sequel to Casino Royale and compared to Casino Royale this movie is pretty disappointing but as a standalone film I have some mixed feelings about it. I think there are things that I would say are pretty good and there are some really well done things about it. It's just that I have a hard time recommending this movie because when you uh, want to see a James Bond movie one of the highlights is the action and the action in this movie sucks. It's really bad because there's so many cuts and you can barely tell what is happening and it just ruins all of these action scenes that could be really cool if it were edited together properly and it didn't have so many cuts like it was a trailer and it's just a major thing that whenever anyone talks about this movie, it's like the biggest problem with this movie is that the action sucks. I kind of want to bring this up uh, though. I have seen this movie a couple times now and each time I revisited this movie, it got a little bit better every time I rewatched it, but I still don't think it's great. But there are plenty of things that I really like about this movie. I enjoyed uh, and the performance is a lot. I think Daniel Craig is still great as James Bond. And I think the characters are really what hold this movie together. And the dialogue for the film is also well written. And it fits what the characters would say. And I felt as though the writing is really what holds this movie up for me. It's just the visual presentation of everything is kind of where it gets a little messy. I like uh, the story and where it goes and I like uh, well, the idea of uh, James Bond uh, just being out of control and uh, killing people instead of bringing them in for questions and that was interesting and they didn't do a whole lot of interesting things with it. I just found it to be something new to this series that I enjoyed. And I can't really get into why he's doing these things because I don't want to spoil Casino Royale. Visually speaking, there are no shots in this movie that stand out to me as impressive or memorable. And that's also another thing that disappointed me about this movie is that in comparison to Casino Royale, that movie is so much better at being visually striking and being very memorable and... I can remember certain scenes and how it was shot, and I liked all of that. But once you get to Quantum of Solace, there's really nothing to it. And there's some effects that don't look great, and... The villain of the film, I thought he was the weakest part of the movie. He wasn't terrible or laughably bad, he was just kind of... Kind of just felt like a dude. Just like a random dude, and the first time I watched it, I didn't even realize that he was the villain of the movie once we got to the end. I thought, oh, he's just a random thug because that's how the movie was kind of treating him. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's the main villain. I, I didn't even realize that was him. It's like, you just, he doesn't separate himself from any other villainous character in this movie. In the end, Quantum of Solace, there's elements to appreciate within it. I liked the story and there's a lot of good ideas in this movie. And it's a watchable movie. It's not one of the worst action movies I've ever seen. It's just a letdown. And uh, I wasn't really all that bored. And this movie is pretty short. It really just feels like a direct continuation of Casino Royale. So that's something, I guess. And it doesn't really waste any time. And the dialogue really helps uh, this movie out a lot. And uh, honestly, if uh, the dialogue was poorly written then this movie would have been a complete failure but it works and there's elements that I like about it and with all that being said I'm going to give Quantum of Solace a 5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always if you enjoyed this review be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Quantum of Solace and my social media links they will all be in the description and last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see when I get my next review up, and then it's going to be for The Dark Knight Rises. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.